one of the things that I try to do all the time, regardless of Feldenkrais, is to catch myself kind of just repeating an old um, mantra of, of teaching or something from my traditional practice and, and asking myself, wait, can that be done in a different way? Can I have, instead of having one way of doing this, can I have, can I give myself two other options in addition to that, right? So a lot of times we talk about posture as being something that is stacked up, right, with the head on top. And so I'll have students just, just to try to figure out how they would do it differently. I'll have them play with their music on the floor, or play with the music a little bit to the right or to the left, or even switch spots in the orchestra. And I think um, by just doing a few of those experiments, you kind of see the students light up because they're not doing the same old thing. And it's invigorating as a teacher. I feel like one of the things that you discover is that once you start to add variation, you get a better response from your students. And it's sort of self, this energy is sort of self-generating. So I say just look for other variations, look for your own notions of right or wrong and kind of examine them in your, as you teach and examine whether or not you're saying, okay, the way to do this is this, this, or, you know, that was the wrong way to do it. If somebody does something that you think is incorrect, have the whole group start to, to try that option and see what comes of it. Um, but just being willing to just try a few experiments like this here and there, I think is it, you'll find that you're going to be um, having kind of a renewed experience with your teaching. Yeah, I was going to ask you if you have any advice for musicians who, uh, who have the challenge of an injury or a repeated injury. Whenever they come back to the instrument, the injury repeats. I guess you would say something similar, no? Yeah, 